if the map that Randall gave us is correct, Camp McCarran is probably our best jumping off point to go find this Tom Quigley guy, who apparently used to be an NCR sniper until something happened and he went bat crap crazy and is now shooting caravans. For some reason, he is shooting caravans over here in the mountains in the middle of nowhere. But who am I to debate a bounty? <laughs> If you have never heard of this series of mods, this is New Vegas Bounties. And it is, in my opinion, one of those must-have mods for New Vegas. It's voice acted, it's well written, it's funny, it's a great mod, and I don't think I've played a game in the last 12 New Vegas games without it in the load order somewhere. It is that good. And if you've never played it before, I highly recommend you download it and play it yourself. It is, it is that good. So if the map is correct, he should be just across this bridge, make a left at the Nuka-Cola factory here, and then go up into the mountains. Oh, sorry, my apologies. It's not Nuka-Cola. It's the Sunset Sarsaparilla factory, which I don't think we've been here before. So at some point, we should definitely scavenge this place, see if there's anything good here. Because if there's Sunset Sarsaparilla, there's probably gonna be, sunset, well, Nuka-Cola caps, bottle caps, money. And since we only have 22 caps right now, uh, we need to get that. Uh, looks like we got some fiends over there. Not too well armed, so in a pinch, we could just go around them. But we are here to kill people for money. So let's kill some people for money and sell their crap. And there we go. Problem solved. There are a lot more of them. Quickly pop you. And pop you. There we go. Oh, ow, crap, ow, ow, crap, ow. Running now! Oh, what? Where the hell did you guys come from? Come on. Tear up paralysis. There we go. And big gun. Ow! Where, where do you guys keep from it? Ah! Mouth not working. Confusion! Still seeing some red marks on the compass ticker. That's not good. Where are they? Also, holy crap. Ow! Those guys hit like a truck. What was that? Where did they where did they come from? Just three fiends out of nowhere. Well, no use letting good money go to waste. Let's take their stuff. Alright, if my pit boy is right, Tom Quigley should be up here somewhere in the hills. I'm betting where that fire is. See that? Uh, that'll probably be him then. Shooting geckos. Are we quite sure this guy is an NCR ranger? I mean, it just seems to me that building a fire out on a hill and making a lot of ruckus is a good way to get yourself shot. A good way to tell someone, oh, hey, here I am. I'm a wanted man. Come get me. And I mean, I'm not going to say no. So there he goes. Yeah, sneak attack on Tom Quigley. And Randall did say he wanted a finger for some reason. Do you think he'll accept a vial of ash instead? Yep, that sure is a finger. Somehow. And where'd his gun land? Ah, oh, there it is. There it is. There it is. See, this is one of the issues that I have with Essential Visuals Enhanced, stepping out of character. It's a great mod, I love what it does, but if you vaporize someone while they have a gun out, which they're going to have it out if, they try, if they're trying to shoot you, if you vaporize them, that gun will spring out of their hands and fly off to heck knows where on the landscape, and you will never find it again. 
especially a weapon like this, which is a brown gun sitting on brown dirt. It, it just kind of blends in. <laughs> the Ferguson Rifle. If you've ever played this mod, this is an excellent sniper rifle. 65 damage per shot, 2 shots per second, taking 44 magnum. Which means that it's a lot easier to feed than something like a hunting rifle or a sniper rifle because all you need to do is break down 10 millimeter ammo and you're done. And I think, I think you can mod it with a scope? Yes, a lever carbine scope. So I think what we need to do is we need to pay a visit to the gun runners and see if they have a scope for us because that way I can use this as my main sniping weapon when I know that there's going to be something I want to pick up afterwards. Beyond, you know, a vial of ash that is now a finger, somehow. And a brown hat and a red scarf outfit. Let's try those on, shall we? Hmm. It's not a bad look. It does scream cowboy, but I think it screams NCR Ranger more. Especially with that radio on the rear, which... Uh, Let's do some mix and match, shall we? That's a maybe. I do like the... It's not quite the same color between the vest and the hat, but it is pretty close. If only I could get a hat in that color, but in the Desperado Cowboys brim. It just... I appreciate that this keeps me nice and cool in the New Vegas sun, which we currently aren't getting, but y you get what I mean. And actually, there's a bag here with a note that says, Whore. Mod, you old f My word. Burning scream, whore, whore, whore. Scratching, burning, fond of voices, talking, crying, beckoning, beckoning, beckoning. Alazred speaks. Do you know what an Alazred is? I don't. Anyway, it's getting pretty close to dark. So let's make our way back to the van. Maybe craft some 44 ammo for this thing and test it out, shall we? Oh, oh crap. Oh, run, Molotov! And we have one shot. Does the one shot work? Uh, no, because I missed. You need to actually hit your shots for it to work. Oh, sorry, Ralph. Ow! Sorry about that. Um, use a stim pack, I guess. Why is there a frag mine here? Oh, it, it's because it's fiend territory crossing into NCR. ER. Sure, boss. The old man will crawl around in the dirt to keep hidden. Well, as an alternative, how about <clears throat> you go stand over there on that mine? Jump up and down while we're at it. How about, how about that, huh? Jeez, the things I do for my people. Oh man, McCarran at night is just very pretty though. Especially with the moon and New Vegas lighting things up. Oh man, I've missed the Mojave, strange as this to seem. Especially because of all the people who were trying to kill me. Ugh, yeah. Actually, hello Crimson Caravan hey Trader. There. Need anything? Yes, I have some convenient weapons. I took up the fiends that I need to sell you. Sure. Here's what I've got. And hopefully, yes, you have 44 Magnum rounds. Thank you. And we'll take the 10 millimeter too, because we can turn those into primers. There we go. Feels good to be above a thousand caps again. All right, back, well, back to the van for a night's sleep and then to what's his face, R Stephen Randall. And actually might be worth stopping by the Gunrunners and the 188 trading post on the way just to see if we can't pick up, uh, what is it called? A carbine scope, I think? Yeah, Gunrunners first. Hmm. No lever carbine scope, unfortunately, but we should be able to pick up at least a bunch of 44 ammo for this. Yeah, there we go. Wait, only 12? Step up your game, Vendertron. That is not a lot. There you go. You're showing something better yourself. And do you have a lever action carbine scope? It was kind of a long shot, but still I'm disappointed. <sighs> and you don't have any either. 
I guess so long as we're going all the way to Prim, we might as well check out Frankie, see if he has anything there. Chet. And what's his face? The the guy the guy in Not Easy Pete. What's the name of the guy in Prim? Runs the mail station there. It's like Technically I work for him. You'd think I'd remember his name. Johnson, Johnson Nash, that's his name. And actually, stepping out of character, there's a man here named <laughs> Randall. Yeah, there's our guy. Randall is by the same mod author as New Vegas Bounties. Normally you pick him up after the completion of New Vegas Bounties 1, it's a whole series, and then he has a lot of commentary. I don't think I've ever picked him up before we do New Vegas Bounties. I wonder, does he have any extra dialogue? Yeah. Oh! <laughs> is Gabriel the kind of douchebag to mention scarring? I think he is. Nothing. My face is just fine. <laughs> oh yeah, you know your face looks like roast beef, right? Just saying. Asshole, you better stop right there, or I'll play tic-tac-toe on your face with my knife. Okay then. <laughs> I guess that's one way to introduce yourself. What brings you to the Mojave? I followed a bounty here not long ago, but the trail ran cold. I've been getting by working as a caravan guard, but it's not the same. I should get back on the hunt, but I just don't know. I used to pride myself on finding every mark I was after, but I lost him. Well, as it happens, we are just getting into the bounty hunting game, so maybe I can find him for you. Might as well, he's long gone. A fellow by the name of Glanton. Used to work as a scalp hunter for the NCR. See, back when the Republic was brushing up against some nasty tribals and raiders down south, they hired Glanton to clean them out. Glanton and his gang were making so much money that pretty soon they stopped caring about whose scalp they took, be it women or children. Brass tried to put a lid on it, declared him an outlaw, but it didn't matter. Settlers loved Glanton, made him into a hero. If settlers or miners run into trouble with tribals, they hire Glanton. It wasn't until recently that the government got serious about him. A few months back, the NCR finally put a bounty of 10,000 caps on his head. I decided it would be worth my while to go after him. Just my luck, he drifted south of the Mojave when I was trailing him. Rumor is that he was meeting up with some old accomplice, Judge Richter. Apparently this guy ran with Glanton years ago. You don't by chance know anything about him, do you? Never heard of him. Damn, that seems to be the consensus around here. Why don't we work together to find the guy? I figure I don't know anything about him, I won't do anything on my own, and you've basically run into a dead end by yourself and are sitting in a bar feeling sorry for yourself, so you're not doing anything. But if we work together, maybe my competence and your knowledge would work. Teaming up would have its advantages, but I need to make sure you can handle yourself. What are your qualifications? Well, I... <laughs> I do have a tendency to turn people into explosive, gelatinous, glowing goo. Damn energy weapons are more trouble than they're worth, but I suppose that'll do. I eh, do have to ask, maybe. though. You're not in bed with Caesar's Legion, are you? <laughs> no. Good to know. I can respect that. Look, I'd like to get started after Glanton right away. Are you ready to go? Sure, let's go. Good, now I guess we'll start where I left off, up north of town. A trader by the name of Tonopah Tim said he sighted Glanton up there. Okay, uh, north of which town, sir? Because there are several you around here. kid underneath the 188? You know, the one with the squirrel trap on his dome? Creeps me the fuck out. Uh, I think I talked to him once, yes. He is kind of a little creepy. Oh, hey, Veronica. See you um, around. Yeah, see you around. We are definitely not traveling together with Raul and Eddie and Russell, and I'm not leaving you here just because I think you'd rather grab my energy weapons than actually help me. No, 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 no nothing like that. And actually, three is kind of a crowd, so Raul... I know you wanted to spend some time with me, and I want to spend some time with you, but I think we need to part ways here. I'll just head home. Home to my lonely abandoned shack in the middle of nowhere. Well, now I feel guilty, don't I? 
You know what? Fine. Fine, 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 fine. Mm. Nope. I've made the decision. I'm going to stick to it. We're going to Prim. And while I'm hey there, here... Youngster. Hey there, oldster. <sighs> How hard is it to stock a simple lever-action carbine scope? Man, nobody has any of them. Hey, Randall, guess what? I got a vial of ash, which I suspect you will say is a finger. Have you killed Quigley yet? Yep, here is the ash pile. I'll take that finger. Here's your reward. How did There's you plenty know? plenty of bounties left, so come back when you're ready to put in more work. Well, I am here right now, so... You ready for the next bounty, kid? Well, no, I'm, I'm just standing here for no reason. Last week, a caravan was waylaid north of town, but it's still a mystery who was behind the attack. One of the guards survived with a leg injury, but by all accounts, he's a drunken ass. His name is Chesty, and he spends his days at the bar in Boulder City. Find this guy and try to figure out what happened. Our client is offering 500 caps for the apprehension or termination of the attacker, provided we get definitive proof. Good luck. Well, 500 caps is not a whole lot, but it's better than anything else we have going on. <laughs> Someone's attacking caravans. You might try the Van Graffs. Just, um, you know, no reason. I, I could never actually accuse them, but uh, it, it, it's worth checking out, shall I say.